NATO has taken command of all maritime and air operations over Libya under Operation Unified Protector. With all the forces now in place, NATO will enforce the United Nations Security Council Resolution 1973. I'm pleased to report that the handover, the transition for coalition forces has been seamless with no gap in the effort. NATO's task is to close Libya's airspace to all flights except aid and humanitarian flights. NATO aviators and controllers will do everything they can to deny any use of air power against civilians. They will do so with care and precision and to avoid harming the people of Libya. Ships, submarines and aircraft are now all operating under the control of NATO's Joint Forces Command here in Naples. The transfer of assets from national to NATO control is a complex operation that's been achieved over the past few days since the political decisions were taken. Under Operation Unified Protector, NATO will now work to enforce the no-fly zone over Libya and the arms embargo in order to protect the civilian population. At the Alliance's disposal are over 200 aircraft, which in the first day flew nearly 180 sorties in support of the operation. Also located in Naples is the maritime component of the command. Here in the operations room, they're overseeing NATO's role in the arms embargo imposed on Libya by the United Nations. Uh, welcome in the Allied Maritime Command Naples headquarters. It's uh, here in the Maritime Operational Center that we are running uh, the embargo uh, in accordance with the United Security Council Resolution 1973. It's from this room, man 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, that the people you see uh, behind me are monitoring and surveying all immersion shipping activities in the Mediterranean Sea. As you can see in terms of organization, we have three rows. The first row is manned by the NCAGS cell, uh, Naval Cooperation and Guidance for Shipping cell, which basically monitor merchant shipping in the Mediterranean Sea. And this cell supports uh, our naval units at sea, which are conducting maritime interdiction operations. The second row are the people, technicians and specialists, which are monitoring our information systems, which are gathering all this information I mentioned just before. And uh, on the third row, uh, you have the command level uh, with an officer which is the, who is the battle watch captain in charge of the entire maritime operational center. So the room, as you see it, is manned 24 hours, hours a day and seven days a week and is entirely dedicated uh, to the Operation Unified Protector. The Italian ship Etna, seen here earlier in the year during an exercise, is the flagship of the operation. The naval component of Operation Unified Protector is designed to prevent the flow of weapons and mercenaries to and from Libya whilst keeping merchant traffic flowing in the Mediterranean. Uh, we have been uh, putting into place a lot of mechanisms and we have uh, continuous contacts with uh, commercial shipping and international maritime organizations. Uh, we have sent out uh, through them a lot of uh, notice to mariners and navigational warnings so that uh, the ships that pass through our area are well aware of what is going on. If they uh, respect uh, the indications they have been given, there should be absolutely no impact on them. With nearly 30 ships hailed so far, NATO will continue to enforce the arms embargo, which is proving successful. It's early days to give a precise assessment. Our first indications are that we are proving effective. I am aware that we cannot close quickly all the windows, but we have definitely closed the front door. This is David Heathfield reporting from Naples for the NATO Channel.